In previous videos, we talked about the different values that are used in an alternating current and how to calculate them. In this video, we'll be going over how to graph a sine wave. The best way I could think to do this is to go over a function and go over each stage of the function and what it does to the graph. We'll be going over the function 2 sine of 2x plus pi over 4 plus 1. We're going to start out by looking at what that green plus 1 at the end of the function does. So basically what that plus 1 does is it shifts all points along the sine wave up 1. So now if you want to move all the points down, you just subtract instead of add at the end of the function. Okay, next topic. Let's talk about that plus pi over 4 that's inside the sine function. What that plus pi over 4 will do is it will shift all points over to the left by pi over 4. Now if you were to subtract instead of add the pi over 4, you would shift all points over to the right by pi over 4. Holy transition word, it's time to talk about that red 2 at the beginning of the function. That red 2 is known as the amplitude. That red 2 will increase all numbers along the sine wave by a factor of 2. Now if you wanted to decrease all the values by a factor, you could just multiply by a fraction. Finally, let's talk about the last part of the function, the 2x. What the 2x does, or what the blue 2 does, is it will reduce the size of the period by one half. Now if you were to multiply by one half, you would increase the period size by two. Now let's put all the parts of the function together. The green plus one will shift the whole graph up one unit. The plus pi over four will shift the whole graph over to the left by pi over four. The red two, or the amplitude, will increase all values along the sine wave by a factor of two. And finally, the blue two next to the x will reduce the period by one half. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Thank you.